Good evening, and thank you for joining us to support the work of student composers here at FSU. My name is Michael Andrew Creighton, and the work that you are about to hear is a piece that I have written for Piano Trio titled Fight for Your Lives. In short, it is part of a series of pieces that I'm writing that are exploring how video game music can inform and influence concert music. And, as you might imagine from the title, this particular piece is inspired by battle music, or the music that plays when a character is engaged in some sort of combat. The piece was specifically inspired by Japanese game composers such as Yokoshima Mora and Nobuo Uematsu in their work in their respective game series of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. Now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming the talents of Edward Charity, Carly Folker, and Adam Ravain in Fight for Your Lives. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Sean Jacobs and I wrote the piece Thoughts for Trumpet and Piano. I was inspired to write this piece after listening to some Hindemith sonatas. He has a sonata for uh, piano and trumpet and I thought it was great. I loved the tone of brass instruments and the trumpet specifically so I wanted to give it a try and um, while I was writing it I found inspiration from 
Bill Evans, Hindemith, and Messien. And not one of them in particular, but all three of them. So that's kind of why I did the title Thoughts for Trumpet and Piano, because it's kind of exploring different themes through those two instruments. So uh, that is my piece. It's performed by Matt Strickland and Honey Park. Thank you so much to them for a wonderful performance. And thank you to SCI for recording it.
name is Luke Waddell, and the piece we're about to hear is entitled To Bring Forth, a sextet for oboe, clarinet, bassoon, horn, viola, and cello in three movements. The first movement, with its shifting textures, suggests something organic coalescing into being, a life that bursts forth in the quick second movement, which proceeds into a contemplative third movement in which all of the instruments, but especially the viola, get their chance to shine. So the title of the piece is also a pun in that the opening sonority is a chord built on fourths. And this sonority provides the harmonic underpinning for the whole piece. And this original chord gets a resolution of sorts at the end of the third movement. And so we bring forth to bring forth for your, for your listening enjoyment. Enjoy.
my name is Justine. I'm a sophomore and I've composed a piece called The New Sky. This piece is for vibraphone and gongs and the point of the piece was to create a sound of a thunderstorm with rain. Um, I tried to find inspiration through a poem for this piece and based the music off of the poem, but I couldn't quite find an existing poem that represented the atmosphere that I wanted to create. So I ended up writing my own poem, also called The New Sky, that I will read for you now. Breaking and crumbling, my conscience slowly dies, leaving me only to myself to burn the new sky as lightning rebirths the terror. Silky threads of light billow from the eyes of a shattered reflection, falling on the knees of broken glass as the earth's low rumble spreads to even the butterflies when they sleep. An echo that runs across the night, swift in its step, like a rumour of an age lost to wind, of people frozen in grief with the burden of a silent scream that cannot be hushed by the care of a mother. Suppression and fears with all the scars left behind by the strike of fury that is nature. I hope you enjoy it.
Hello, my name is Marissa Miglino, and I'm a second year commercial music major here at FSU. The piece you're about to hear is one of my latest compositions titled Prelude in E Minor. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Makar Guez and I am a second year undergraduate piano performance student here at FSU and I'm looking forward to becoming a double major in composition next semester. Uh, the piece that you're about to hear is my very first piano trio for traditional and uh, piano, violin and cello. It's in a romantic style. Um, so the third movement at the time of, the rec of this recording uh, wasn't yet finished. Uh, so that's why you you will only heal the first two movements. Uh, the first movement was written in March 2020. Uh, you can probably regard it as a response to the pandemic that started back then. And the second movement is a more recent one from the last semester. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Brianna Lightborn. I'm the composer of three E.E. E. Cummings songs. It's a mezzo-soprano or soprano piece with handheld percussion of the soprano's choice. Um, it's three movements based on text by E.E. E. Cummings. It's a bit of a performative and dramatic piece. So longs and ashes. The string quartet you are about to hear, Two Sentiments, explores two passions which I believe many of us have experienced during these difficult times. The first movement you will hear a sorrowful expressive melody which prolongs a melancholy feeling until a grand release into the second movement which is the opposite, a rhythmic image of joy and vitality.
The loon is a piece based on the aquatic bird, the loon, uh, which is much like a duck. It is written for reed quintet, and it uses a number of extended techniques to replicate the sounds of the loon, uh, as well as the birds and animals one might encounter in the same habitat. The opening interval of the major fifth is the wail of the animal, and is a common theme throughout the whole piece. The imitation glissandos are examples of the wail when the mother is separated from the chick, and the trills and double trills are the calls indicating danger. The singing at the end of the piece is meant to show the calmness of the ducks when the family returns home for the evening.
Hi, my name is Honey Park. Summer 2020 is composed in the fall last year, and I had a good opportunity to work and had a recording session with a knotted ensemble on her love. This time, I luckily have fantastic performers to perform this piece. Adam Ravey, Kali Vulture, Edward Charity, and Hunter Robustin. Thank you again. As the title means, I try to describe my impression on the last summer. Due to the COVID pandemic, I couldn't have myself being in blue and feeling lost. I don't like being in that emotion, so I went back to South Korea to stay with my family during summer. There, I could observe people try to live their lives with their best, despite of so many difficulties, wearing the mask all day and even work when um, they walk outside in the hot weather. And that encouraged me as well to get back to my life. Also, I believe music empowers people to give up their life, so I composed this piece wishing it could play that role. Accordingly, I got to add a dance-like materials in this piece as well, since I personally grant the dancing as a kind of our willingness to get over the bad things in our life. So, hope you find it and enjoy it. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Ethan, I'm a composer, I'm a senior, and the piece you're about to hear tonight is called Salome for solo violin. This is a piece I wrote around 2019 as part of the Curtis Institute's Young Artist Summer Program, and I later revised it in the year of 2020 when I was again part of the summer program, but this time in the online version. And it's a piece that was heavily inspired by the character Salome from Richard Strauss's opera Salome. And while it's not programmatic in that it doesn't create an exact story, I was more inspired by the actual character and creating the actual mood. And I hope the performer can feel like they themselves are going to behead John the Baptist. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Bryce Martin, and I composed the following piece, Restless Pillow for Piano Trio. The majority of this piece was composed between the months of September to November of 2020. And as I was coming up with the title for the piece, I was thinking about that time of my life and just kind of, you know, the feelings and emotions I had at the time. And I think the most dominant feeling I had was restlessness, just kind of a general sense of not feeling quite at ease. And I think a lot of us probably felt that way, especially with the events that were going on at the time. So I stumbled upon a quote by English novelist Charlotte Bronte. She said, a ruffled mind makes a restless pillow. And when I saw that, I just kind of took it and ran with it, adopted it for the title of my piece. So I hope you enjoy Restless Pillow and the rest of the concert.
Hello everyone, my name is Shelby Scott. My piece on this program is titled, Who Has Seen the Wind? Uh, for solo vibraphone and electronic backing track. I named this piece after a poem by Christina Rossetti uh, that I will very briefly read for you. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. This poem touches on something that I have been wanting to explore in a piece for a very long time, which is that wind itself cannot be seen by the naked eye, but its effect on the surrounding world is profound. In this piece, I wanted to capture that idea by exploring various uh, windscapes or wind textures uh, and attempting not only to emulate these windscapes as they are heard in nature, uh, but also as they are seen. Furthermore, as this is a vibraphone solo, I thought it would be a good idea to create the electronic track uh, using only a vibraphone, and that's exactly what I did. As a result, every sound you will hear in this piece is coming from a vibraphone. Uh, with that in mind, I hope you enjoy Who Has Seen the Wind? <laughs> 